Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys all have a blessed weekend. Uh, I don't have too much going on except the grandkids will be around, so that'll be fun. But uh, anyway, I found a few minutes here to come out in the garage where it's peaceful and quiet to uh, get my videos done. So listen, I want to talk to you for just a minute. And this, this is the third video in a series. And the first one was that little Watch Me Knee clip I put up, and then last Wednesday's video. And this is kind of a takeoff off of last Wednesday's video. And it's basically this. We said in last Wednesday's video to forget your past, don't dwell on it, to move on into the future. And this one's along the same lines. And I want to talk to you about trusting God to get it done. Trust in God to get it done. You know, I constantly tell you people that when you are a born-again believer, when you are a born-again child of God, your sins are forgiven. Past, present, future, throughout all of eternity. Sin will never touch you again. It's done. It was nailed to the cross. Now remember that. Matthew 5, 6 says, Blessed are they who do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. People, I can honestly say with an honest heart that my greatest desire in life is to live for God. That's my greatest desire. I have a hunger and a desire to never sin again. But people, I freely admit that I suck at it. I totally suck <laughs> as being a born-again Christian. I mean, I, I fail right and left. I know exactly what Paul was talking about when he said, of sinners, I'm the chief. But yet in my spirit, I long to live for God. Psalms 23.3 says, He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. So Matthew said, if you hunger for righteousness, you're going to be fulfilled. One day you will be righteous. And God leads you in the paths of righteousness. He directs you down that path. As you travel on this path of life, you can trust in God to steer you. You constantly fall off, right or left. You wander off, you chase a rabbit down a rabbit hole. You get off track. But you can always count on God to bring you back up on that track. Psalms 37, 3, 4, and 5 says, Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. People, you want to know what God wants for you. God wants you to enjoy your life. He wants you to have fun. He wants to give you the desires of your heart. He wants to see you happy. And He also knows that by you living according to His will, that's where happiness lies. Philippians 1.6, this is what it says. Being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. People, listen, I just read you four scriptures, right? Four scriptures. Each one of those scriptures are an absolute promise. An absolute promise that if you are a born-again believer, God is going to finish the work. You are never going to be lost. God is going to finish the work. You already possess eternal life. If you could lose it, it wouldn't be eternal. It would be conditional life. It would be like, yeah, I'm saved, but if I screw up, I'm not. So here's five facts that I want you to remember about your salvation. Our sins are forgiven, never to be brought up again. Past, present, future, throughout all of eternity. Sin is a done deal, nailed to the cross. Number two, you sin every day. So do I. We both sin every single day, every day. If we could lose our salvation because we sin, would none of us have it? Because we all sin every day. 
Therefore, you add nothing to your salvation. Zero, nada, not one single thing. You don't add anything. It's all the atoning blood of Jesus Christ on the cross. Next, get this one. Nothing. Nothing. Look it up in the dictionary. It means nothing. In Greek, it means nothing. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. Nothing can separate you from God. He started the work in you. He's purifying you and he will finish the work. Nothing can keep that from happening. You will spend eternity in heaven with the Lord Jesus Christ. And I know we got a lot of things to do yet. We got the uh, thousand year millennial reign coming. We got the city, the new city to the new Jerusalem coming down. We're going to be loving all of that. But people, we're going to spend eternity with Jesus Christ and nothing can alter that. And the last thing I want you to remember is Satan has no more power in his accusations. When Satan comes to you and starts getting down on you about your past, what a low life you are, this, that, and the other, just smile and just say, yeah, but I'm saved by the blood of the Lamb because you are. People, if you're not born again, then nothing I said applies to you. But if you would like it to, all you have to do is with a pure heart, just say, Lord Jesus, I believe you're God Almighty. I believe you came and died on a cross for my sins. Lord, please forgive me. Come and live in my heart. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Anyway, I just want to give you guys something to think about. Heaven or hell, you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.